thanks to Unreal for sponsoring this video. So we're on the race to the next like big product revolution. The device that comes to take your phone and then take over the world. And the biggest companies all over the globe are racing to bring their first product to the market. But the product's already here. These are the Enreal Air Smart AR glasses. And they're the closest glimpse at the future that we've got yet. And before I get to the AR glasses, I just wanna thank you guys for watching the video, support the channel, and generally being awesome, as well as the folks uh, at Enreal. Giveaway time, we are giving away 500 bucks anywhere you are in the world, gift card of your choice. Leave a comment down below. Let me know the first thing you would fire up with your Enreal glasses, and leave your social handle in the comments. Otherwise, I cannot contact you if you win. Run it for 10 days. All the information though will be in the description. So when you take the Enreal Air out of the box, at least I was a bit confused. These look just like regular normie glasses, uh, but I think that's exactly the point here. And it's also one of the main reasons these are really impressive. So they are super lightweight, coming in around 80 grams, and they're also ergonomic and comfortable to wear. If you've ever worn like sunglasses, these are just basically the same, uh, but they have a lot more adjustments you might be used to. So the arms of glasses uh, are built on a hinge, which I've never seen before. You actually get up to 40 degrees of range on these things. Plus you get three levels of tilt. So no matter what kind of head shape you have, this will fit and look like normal sunglasses. They also have different nose pieces you can pop on or off. I got a small head, hats fit me weird, glasses fit me weird. I was able to get these guys, as you can see, fit me relatively normally. Making them look normal is one of the biggest hurdles for AR products, especially ones like this. If I don't wanna be seen wearing them, I'm not going to wear them and I'm not going to use them. Uh, and once you do put these suckers on, it is a pretty cool experience. So these are AR glasses, not VR. It's a big, important thing to remember. So you still see the real world around you, but you've got images overlaid on top. So there are two 1080p Sony micro OLED displays uh, inside, one for each eye, and there's three degrees of freedom and head tracking. So these displays also have a 46 degree field of view that lets you sort of see an effective 201 inch screen in front of you. Now in all caveats here, it's pretty much impossible for me to show you what this looks like. I'm going to try. So I can screen record from the app and I can kind of record from the camera just on one lens uh, of the glasses. So at least take my word for it that it looks really, really good. And when you're looking at things, the biggest concern I had was that it's AR if I'm trying to say, watch a video or something, uh, that it's gonna be too much stuff coming through the image, kind of getting that screen door effect. But we've seen in some other AR headsets, not the case here, it still looks almost like a static image in front uh, of the real world. I thought was a really cool thing, but images generally uh, are sharp, things look really quick. And I think this is kind of the vision of AR they've always been promised. There is a reason why they can fit all of this tech into something that small. And because the brain of this operation is actually, well, it's your phone. There's a USB-C port. They actually did a really cool job where they placed it sort of at the end of the stem of the glasses that connect to your Android phone or iOS device. And you just launch the app and the app is called the Nebula app. And then things project to your glasses and boom, you are seeing AR in the real world. So when you open Nebula app, you got two options. So MR Space is actually a dedicated operating system inside with full features kind of built in. Uh, and then there's air casting option. That's going to mirror your phone screen and that's mostly where I spent my time. It looks awesome. Whatever's on your phone, iOS or Android, you can see. So if you're on a plane, a train, even if you're walking, want to watch YouTube videos, want to watch a movie, you can do that. So you do have to have the wire plug in. I generally had it running back over my shoulder and the phone in my pocket. Uh, a few caveats that it took a while to get used to. Since it's mirroring, you can't just play a video on your phone and turn your phone off and let it play. Your screen actually has to be on and then on in your pocket to get a little bit warm depending on what phone you're using. That was really the only drawback that I saw here. I wasn't worried about battery life of the headset because it was tethered to my phone. Uh, it made it for a really cool experience. And I think I was happy to make the trade-off of not having these big bulky glasses with the brains inside of them. To just have a little cord running down my shoulder and have glasses that look you know, normal. So when you look at like most AR or even some VR glasses, they look ridiculously huge and uh, like giant computers on your face. And real air actually just looks like regular glasses, albeit maybe slightly heavier, but just looking at it, they don't look like anything strange. Now, if you do put on the cover, as I got right here, you know, it looks a little weird that way. Um, but they're comfortable, they're lightweight, 
and I don't have any ergonomic issues. If you have any ergonomic issues though, they do give you different nose tips to kind of make it better. And also if you've got prescription glasses, there's an option for you as well. If there was a giveaway that something's happening here other than just protecting your eyes from UV rays, uh, it's gonna be on the USB type C cord. It's actually a really cool place to plug it in right at the end of the stem. So it kind of just flows like one whole piece. Put these suckers on, plug the other end into your phone, open the Nebula app, and you've got two options. And I am seeing right now in front of me what is on the phone. It's super hard to capture this on camera. We'll do our best. Uh, but it looks exactly the same, and it's got head tracking as well. As I move, it moves with me no matter which direction I'm moving my head. So I, know, I see my phone on the ceiling now. Uh, I should say too that their speakers built in, they're pretty good. But for the best experience, you're probably gonna wanna put on uh, some headphones. But I think the killer use case uh, for this is gaming, specifically gaming with Xbox and Game Pass. Since this works with iOS or Android, you can pretty much open up whatever you want because it'll mirror your phone. You could pair uh, an Xbox controller with your phone, like we've been able to see. You can legit game here. Flagship uh, level games in augmented reality on a giant screen is nuts. So I just fired up Jedi Fallen Order, just a new game. Listen, this is probably more how amazing Game Pass is, but the fact that it works on the phone, coming through to the glasses on a huge screen uh, is unbelievable. And it works as well as Game Pass does. Uh, it is smooth, I've got the controller paired. I mean, I could sit here and play for hours without really ever installing anything local. Um, I don't know, Game Pass still seems like a magic trick to me, and the fact that I now can see it in a 200 inch screen uh, through augmented reality glasses is like extra magic. So the folks at Unreal wanted to give you a few options. So the augmented reality part is nice, um, but they have something called a light shield that kind of looks like, almost like sunglasses that go over the top. That kind of blocks out the light and it gives you a sort of virtual reality look experience. So you're not really seeing the outside world because you're covering it so you just get black. If you were looking at a reason to buy these or consider buying them, uh, this is it, uh, and it's gaming. Uh, so these screens have a 60 hertz refresh rate. So gaming with them is actually possible. Beyond that, it's enjoyable. And because it's powered off your phone, you boot up an app and this works and tested like Xbox's cloud gaming and play full scale, full games with either 5G or Wi-Fi connection. We're talking any game uh, that is on there. Then you could pair your Xbox controller with your phone and you are cloud gaming on the go in a way that I've never seen before. So we've heard a lot about AR and VR for a while, and there are certainly a lot of AR VR headsets coming, but this was the first time that I've tested a pair of wearables that actually gave me a reason to want to use them. Uh, for me, it was watching content in games was awesome. And the fact that these weren't giant chunky boys on your head, and they were just slightly tethered, made it awesome, made it elegant, made it fast, made it light, and gave me a lot of reasons to actually want to use these. If you want to check them out or learn more, and honestly, I think anybody who's interested in new technology should, since this is going to be absolutely everywhere, we'll put a link to them down below.